Hey, Professor Black. So for this video, I'm going to be doing it on the contract analysis and I'm going to be doing it on the leasing company app that I use to pay for my apartment month to month. I use Resident Portal, who is also in contract, who also own, who's owned by Intra Inc. They're in contract with the with on my private property manager as well. Sorry. And um, basically, every time I use the app, I read the terms and conditions. They told me, number one, that the terms, terms and conditions can change. They also said that every time I use the app and I click submit for any type of payment or any type of uh, notification that they post when I enter, um, I'm basically saying that all of my payments are via online. All of my communication is via online and that I am aware of all the alterations that are that is being done with my account. Um, I read that I have uh, terms and conditions that I have to follow. So number one being that I'm on a contract base until I'm on a legally binding contract until my contract is over from whenever my, you know, when I signed it said, um, I, I, I signed over that I will be using this app until my contract of my, well, until my leasing, my lease is up. Um, if I have to make any type of a different type of forms of payments that let's say if it has to be a non electronic payment and I do pay by check or something or cash that my uh, which I did not know my prop my um, apartment complex can give me a fee they can add a fee on that so I was like okay I'm not gonna do that um also, uh, I, I don't have any type of authorization to disclose anybody's private information. Um, so, you know, the basics like so, social security, a bank account number, any type of derogatory por pornographic uh, type of um, content. Also, they said that I am prohibited to use dishonesty on my contracts or my payment methods. They also said that um, I have no legal rights to do any type of alterations, take any of the content from their page and put it on my own contract or something like, like you know, anything like that. If they find that, then they can, I can go ahead and get into a real legal issue. Um, they also, ex well, I, what I, well, I understood the contract, um, I just didn't know what I didn't know because I understood the contract. Like I understood the terms and conditions I was given with Intra. I just didn't know that there were two separate companies. Like I didn't know that my apartment complex and Intra were two different things, but I can see how everything works. Like I have one separate contract with my lease and then I have a terms and condition contract with the app that I'm using. But in the middle is the private property manager. I just didn't know that that's how it worked. I thought everything just went hand in hand. But um, as I read through the terms and conditions, it made more sense on how a contract works and basically how I'm signing over my rights when I use the app and I have to use it accessi accessibly and right so I don't get into legal actions. So.